Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Katie Maloney says she didn't exactly respond the manner in which fans might think after her ex Tom Schwartz dropped a significant stunner about his kiss with Coster Sheen Shea. I think you'll be shocked the way in which I respond to all that. The Vanderpump Rules star, 37, tells individuals at the Bravo show season 11 debut. Well, she was at my birthday supper the previous evening, so we'll leave it at that. In a lengthy trailer for the hit Bravo show's impending season, Schwartz uncovered a long covered up secret excursion he once had with the great as gold vocalist. I cheated. I was a makeouts. I made out with Shanna in Vegas. Nobody even knows that, Schwartz told Lala Kent, who answered with wide eyes. What? Maloney later faced Schwartz, telling him, My sentiments never made a difference to you. In her own discussion with individuals at the debut, Shea certifies Maloney's cases about their relationship. She uncovers that the pair are in a great spot and commended her birthday with a little gathering of companions. She says of the kiss with Schwartz, That didn't cause a crack. I think it just created some turmoil. However, I cleared that all up so it will be cleared up for the crowd too. In any case, it's not your thought process. I can say that. Maloney and Schwartz were together for a long time before their split. However, the pair wedded in 2016. They didn't document the authority desk work to be legitimately married until 2019. The previous couple reported their separation on their particular Instagram accounts in Walked 2022, and Maloney petitioned for legal separation seven days after the fact. Following insight about their separation, a source let individuals know that the couple had been deficient closeness in their relationship for a long time. They carry on like fabulous flatmates, the insider made sense of, adding that the truth stars are still a piece of one another's lives in spite of the separation. Notwithstanding, when it came to their future, the source noticed that the pair were searching for various things in their relationship, with Schwartz chasing greater adaptability with his life and Maloney needing even more a conventional marriage. In August 2022, Schwartz shared where he and Maloney remained in the couple of months following their separation. We're actually hanging out, not in an undesirable, extravagant way, but rather we give each other space, limits, he said during an appearance on Dear Media's You Will Cherish Me with Katie Maloney. We're still mates, we actually monitor one another. I'm glad that we're actually close, he added. I think generally talking, we've done a damn steady employment Katie separating Maloney is giving her another. response to the sensation dropped on Rackle Levis' webcast, Rachel denounces any kind of authority. Levis let the cat out of the bag on Schwartz's supposed earlier information on her months-long issue with Tom Sandoval, making rushes of debate inside the Vanderpump Rules people group. I read a recap of Rachel's digital broadcast, and she goes, he knew all along. And I messaged Schwartz, and I was like, I came clean with you to tell. Also, presently you're getting called out and blamed, Maloney told us. At the point when asked where the companion bunch goes from here, Maloney told E.T., I consider a few of these fellowships are dead. I don't believe there's returning for a great deal of them, not at all like we've found previously. I don't have any idea. Yet like more bizarre things have occurred yet I believe there's been a ton of new kinships conceived out of this and collusions made so we'll see what's in store brings. The issue among Levis and Sandoval became known in Walk 2023, prompting Sandoval's separation with Ariana Maddox following nine years. Shorts, be that as it may, ended up snared in the crossfire because of his supposed early attention to the circumstance. Levis itemized her side of the story, asserting, Schwartz knew since the earliest reference point. I got a call from Tom Sandoval after we connected interestingly. My brain was dashing. I was feeling such a lot of culpability and disgrace about it. Schwartz knew before we even had a discussion to discuss it and what the blueprint would have been. Maloney, regardless of settling her separation from Schwartz in October 2022, communicated the trouble of keeping a companionship 
because of what she sees as Schwartz's irregularities. Nonetheless, she told the power source they are on fine terms and offer care of their canines. While Levis says Schwartz had some awareness of the issue from the beginning, he asserted in April on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen that he looked into Sandoval's casual sexual encounter with Levis in August, however didn't learn of the undeniable close-to-home undertaking until January. The casual hookup was in August and afterward it became, according to my perspective, it turned into a close-to-home undertaking, which is as yet unseemly, yet I didn't think it was straight, he said. Then, in January, he came to me and let me know that he was enamored with Rackle, presently Rachel. In a June 2023 episode of Stars on Mars, Schwartz uncovered that he was for all time moving back from the show with Sandoval. Schwartz started by referring to Sandoval's issue with Levis as unbelievably screwed up. It appears to be each time I attempt to show up or discuss, chatter about it, hot air on, I definitely sound like I'm some way or another supporting it or rationalizing it, and I'm not, Schwartz demanded. There's simply no good reason for it. Schwartz recently said that he was being taken care of a story by Sandoval that he had attempted to end things with Maddox, many, ordinarily, in the midst of his continuous tryst with Levis. That, Schwartz said on Stars on Mars, is presently debatable. Any kind of adaptation of his side of the story has become out of date in view of the manner in which he dealt with it, Schwartz said. Eventually, that is his life. That is his life. I didn't take part in an extramarital entanglements. I'm not him. It's simply abnormal to such an extent that I've been totally buried in this. It's taken on very nearly a unique kind of energy. By the day's end, Schwartz said of the undertaking show, I'm backing away from it forever. Toward the beginning of spring, Sandoval and Maddox reported the termination of their friendship in the wake of being together starting around 2013, when she originally joined the show. It wasn't well before news broke that Sandoval went behind Maddox's back with their co-star, Levis, which really wrecked the relationship. Fans have since been blessed to receive a hazardous season 10 finale of Vanderpump Rules, where the deceiving embarrassment, or scandal, was completely tended to. The firecrackers went on in a three-section Vanderpump Rules get-together when the issue's genuine course of events was uncovered, and afterwards section three of the get-together likewise offered this sensation. Levis propositioned Sandoval to turn into a thruple, couple with three individuals, with Maddox. Schwartz started by referring to Sandoval's issue with Levis as unbelievably screwed up. It appears to be each time I attempt to show up or discuss, chatter about it, hot air on, I definitely sound like I'm some way or another supporting it or rationalizing it, and I'm not, Schwartz demanded. There's simply no good reason for it. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.